the work. That should be good. Okay. Yeah. Yes, this works. Okay. <laughs> it's a privilege to come to you on Ascension Day because I know a lot of us were together on Good Friday. And there it was our time to mourn, to participate in that, to dwell in that. This is our time to dwell in the victory of Christ, the sovereignty of Christ, Christ going back onto the throne. And the great encouragement that I took from the Acts reference that we read today is the apostles are just like us. And they were even with Christ. How many times in our life, our lives is Christ doing something? Or Christ did something? Christ wants to do something. And we don't participate. Or we don't catch the entire thing. Or any number of issues. Well, the blessed apostles did the exact same thing. The first part. He sets his will in motion the many infallible proofs it talks about in the Acts reference. He does that in our lives too, of course. We're looking in hindsight mostly when we identify those things. Actively looking for those things only comes through prayer. Being in community with other believers such as this. He sets up what he's going to do in our lives just like he did with the apostles and we can depend on him for this. And as we do, IR12, after he had set these many infallible proofs into motion, he would esta- had he, after he had established what he wanted, how he wanted it, who he was, where he was going, they again asked him if he was going to do what they had their preconceived notion that he was supposed to come to do. And set, when are you going to set back up the kingdom? Yeah, yeah, well, you're doing all these things. Yes, you're the Messiah. That's great. But you know that thing that we always thought beforehand that we thought you were going to come to do? Are you going to do that? This, this plan that we thought, you know, reading the tea leaves, that you were coming to do, and we had decided that you were supposed to do, we know you're doing something much, much bigger, but are you, are you going to still do that? How many times in prayer have we done that? God, I, I see what you're doing here. You've told me through prayer and through other people, and they've, you encouraged me, but you know this, are you, I really think you should do this. I know it's smaller. And... I can totally wrap my head around it, which is why I secretly want you to do it. But are you gonna, are you going to do that? <laughs> Take heart. The day our Lord ascended, the apostles did that exact same thing as we do every day. On the day of his ascension, Of course, as we read through the scriptures of, as we are, the apostles were too, that he says something, they say, what, didn't get that? He says it again, they say, what, didn't get that? He says it again, what, didn't get that? Every single time, we then think, this is going to be the time where Jesus says, I've had it with you guys. (laughs) And he just sets them straight. Even on Ascension Day, even when setting it in your hands, go forth. How thankful are we for a Lord, a God, that still handles us with care, still handles us with just deft encouragement patience, even on this day when they said, are you going to do what we thought you were going to do? He said, and I'm sure it was one of those, 
pauses, I'm doing something much, much greater. His vision is greater. Take that for anything in your life, our lives, together. Our life as a church. Yes, we're supposed to be faithful in little things and day-to-day consistent. But his vision is even greater for all of us. Just be assured of that. In the, high, in the highs as well as the lows. When things are going well, Christ assures and expects greater. And in the lows. The whole thing of it's not come to stay, it's come to pass. He expects and assures us of greater. And the last part that I just, I never realized it, and I loved reading it again and again while preparing for this, is that our Lord, as He was, you know, He, he gave them what they're doing, He gave them what He's going to give them with the Holy Spirit and telling them about that. His last act technically never ended. When he ascended, it says that he blessed them. He was blessing them. It's an active sense. He, he was in the process of blessing them. That never ended. He ascended as he was blessing Take that to heart for each of you individually also. Yes, he's given something for us to do, for you to do, for me to do. But then he blesses and is blessing you. The act of putting himself into you as the, our St. Patrick's breastplate goes above, before, behind, to the left, to the right. And he's still doing that. As you go everywhere, today and tomorrow in your life, know that Christ is still blessing, still sending himself. It was a point in time, but it is a an ever-occurring point in time. And as you come forward for the Eucharist, this is where He gives you the energy (coughs) to do all He has. This is where He is blessing you, sending Himself down actively to be received by His saints just like his apostles, that he left to do the work he has for us. Thank you.